GTA Semiconductor launched the second phase of its automobile chips plant. It is expected to produce about 300,000 chips each month by 2025. The company said the project was launched to make breakthroughs in domestic automobile chip manufacturing. New energy vehicles require many power processing management chips, MCU and sensors. We hope the technological upgrade will become an example for this sector in China. So far, 140 billion yuan worth of smart new energy vehicles have been built in Lingang, accounting for 80 percent of Shanghai's total. At Dishe Lake, the second phase of Finance Bay also started today. Its first phase has already got 700 projects with over 120 billion yuan in registered capital. After two or three years, Finance Bay will stretch about two kilometers along Dishui Lake and will become another financial hub in Shanghai after Lu Jiazui and the Bund. A new financial development layout will be formed. In Yangshan's special comprehensive bonded area, an international bonded center will be set up. The center is expected to attract R&D, maintenance and processing businesses. The concept here is bonded area plus new businesses. What's special about the bonded area is that it's more than storage and logistics and that it has expanded into other areas related to offshore settlements and businesses with raw materials and final products overseas. 640 projects are now under construction in Lingang, including commercial complexes, roads and housing. About 60,000 construction workers are in Lingang building the projects.